Now, before we get into the topic at hand today, I just gotta say, I already tried to make an entire video on this and I had to throw uh, the whole thing away because it didn't quite communicate everything I wanted to communicate effectively. So so this is my second time trying to discuss this subject uh, adequately. By the way, Anne, I, I am wearing pants this time. So, you know, just cool it. Uh, a little. I wear pants. It just, it was very hot. Uh, I'm currently hot, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, you know, for me. It's not for you. Why is anime so divisive? Well, first we need to make the distinction of... Now, anime just comes from the Japanese term for animation. That's it. It's not a genre. It's just another medium for art, like film or, or music. Now, I make this distinction because when I say anime, I'm sure a lot of you think of the same one or two stereotypes. Stop the race, I can't do that. A couple of really popular reasons why a lot of people won't even try anime is because they've heard clips of some really over the top voice acting. It's about time I was allowed to have some fun. Now I'm gonna teach our visitor a lesson. No, don't do it. He's too powerful. <laughs> Maybe they've heard that there's some uh, relatively inappropriate themes included uh, in all the shows, but I guarantee one of the number one reasons why people don't try anime is the Like other dimensions where you aren't rejected all the time. <laughs> Most likely you've imagined the anime community to be comprised of people in poor health sitting in their parents' basements, typing away hateful messages to women and minorities, uh, wasting away on Mountain Dew and Doritos. You probably heard the tales of some extremists that are so devoid of social interaction that they will uh, get uh, printouts of their favorite anime female characters onto pillows and then they will put those pillows on their bed and they'll sleep next to them. Another thing with the anime community is that the anime community hates the anime community. You got people over here saying that JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is the best. You got people over there saying that Full Metal Alchemist is the best. And if either of them say that their show's better, they will send death threats to each other. Uh, if you mention that you like Sword Art Online, you're immediately kicked out of the community. You mention you like Tokyo Ghoul, kicked out of the community. If you say you haven't seen all 8,000 episodes of Naruto, then you're an absolute scumbag and you deserve to be hit by a car. You deserve to be cut in half with a katana that they most likely have. And I don't see the anime community changing at any point. You see, the problem is, is you've got weird people looking for weird art, but that's not indicative to the demographic that anime is aiming for at all. I'm, I'm here to tell you, uh, you know, you know me, you might not, well, you, you probably don't know me, but I'm a, I'm a relatively normal guy. Uh, I like things. I watch uh, The Office. Um, I've li I listen to, I've heard jazz before. Yeah, indie rock is cool, right guys? <laughs> My point is, is that I'm a normal guy and uh, I would consider myself to be a fan of anime, but I wasn't always like this. You see, back when I was in eighth grade, one of my friends told me, hey, you know, we're both guys that are into video games, right? There's this really cool show about virtual reality that can, instead of making your body move, it makes a character in a video game move so you can smell, taste, touch, move around with free movement. Uh, and it's essentially a dream come true for every gamer. But then something goes wrong when a certain button becomes non-existent. And people learn that if they actually die in the game, then the headsets are designed to kill them instantly. And I, I thought, well, boy, geez, <laughs> does that just sound so intense? And then I go looking at it and I go, oh, gosh, what is this? It's cartoon. It's, uh, well, it, it's offering me to watch it in Japanese. What the heck? And here I sit down, I'm watching it. And I will tell you what, I was so hooked. <laughs> It was so good. People that like anime, you probably hate this show, Sword Art Online, but I'll tell you what, that was my first anime. That was my introduction to the world. But I was able to enjoy this in a way I couldn't enjoy any other television or movies because it wasn't constrained by uh, props and budgets and sets. Uh, it was essentially a world where anything could happen because you just have to be able to draw it. And believe me, Japan knows how to do special effects and artwork. Some of my closest friends actually were equally as turned off to the idea of anime until I found something that suited their tastes and they gave it a whirl and now they're looking for more. This is the cool thing about anime is, like I said earlier, it's not a genre. 
it's an art form. So let's say for a minute you love superheroes, right? Uh, but you're kind of tired of uh, Marvel's very formulaic. It's a lot of the same. In DC, we don't even talk about those. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. So what do you do? Try My Hero Academia. It's kind of like sky high, but infinitely better. There's a character named All Might who's essentially Superman if he was written well. Hey, wake up. Hey, thought we lost you there. And I just absolutely love it. Most people that don't enjoy anime uh, have gotten into anime through this show. So I would certainly recommend that. <laughs> Now imagine if uh, you were a big fan of movies and someone came up to you and said, uh, I saw Batman v Superman the other day. Why did you say that name? And I hated it. I hate movies. You would say, well, look here, you idiot. That's not a good movie. You, th there's so many different kinds of movies. How can you judge an entire medium of art based on one film? Th that's ridiculous. How do you think the anime community, right, feels when you say you've seen something ridiculous? Uh, and you judge the entire art form based off that. I suppose the point of this is you don't have to be a toxic weeaboo to be a fan of anime. You can like anime and you can like The Office. You can watch Mob Psycho 100 and then you can go around and you can watch The Avengers. It doesn't matter. You don't have to pick one or the other. I think that at some point we'll hopefully move towards a place in society where we can openly say I watch anime and I'm not a complete creep. Well, it's been fun. I hope I didn't miss anything. I went entirely off script and it's quite late at night, in fact. I appreciate... I. I I beyond appreciate all the support that I've gotten for the past couple of videos. Uh, making it into an ad was certainly a gamble, but it was received quite well. So I appreciate you uh, I, for appreciating me, uh, and I, I hope you stick around. I hope you uh, are interested in seeing more content from me, because I just love making it. Have a good one.